Greetings Earthlings, my name is Zero Jake and welcome back to Space Engineers. So, as you can see here, I've kind of expanded on what the model of the ship will be, the military ship that we are now building, um, and I've multicolored it because otherwise things may get a bit, a bit confusing with everything being grey. Uh, this yellow section here is the drone hangar, which will carry the drone which we've built, which is over there attack drone this will fit in here um, we'll use mag locks to lock it down instead of landing gear because that's um, you know more in keeping with drones drones don't use landing gear they use mag locks uh, and it will also allow the drone to mag lock onto other surfaces as well but we will do that later so this is the drone bay this is going to be at the front the front section is going to be different than just a flat thing I'll do some um, I'll do some beautification of it when we've actually got it up and running. Uh, like the ship not being attached to an asteroid, having power, having thrusters, gyroscopes, all that stuff. Uh, and then this second bit here, here is going to be where all the resources are going to be processed and uh, kept. It's small, uh, it's not supposed to carry everything in the universe, but it is supposed to be an upgrade of the current uh, frigate that we've got. Mainly because the current red ship is... Um, inefficient of space very inefficient of space whereas this will be more efficient because we are like the Borg everything must be as efficient as possible um, so uh, this section refineries this section assemblers and this section uh, the cargo containers and we'll set up a uh, automated system to be able to do that using a very very useful mod or we could use a script to make sure that we don't have that many mods. Uh, down here is going to be kind of an engine bay. Uh, it's not got the resource processing and storage, but what I will have is a jump drive and uh, a reactor and some other things that go down in engineering. And then up here will be living quarters. Uh, it will have medical bay, it will have cryo tubes. Um, it will also act as the bridge. And then we have two paths. This path goes uh, along here into the drone bay and then this path up here basically these two are for maintenance uh, so this path will go along here uh, we'll use a mod in order to do this because uh, there's a mod that allows platforms but they also have conveyor belts underneath and that's going to be useful um, I'll add that later I probably should uh, create a new mod collection just full of the mods that I'm using in this playthrough uh, but yeah, that's good. Um, so I welded in all of the uh, sides, well not all of the sides, all of the edges, uh, so that you can actually see something of a, of a structure instead of just a ton of girders everywhere. Uh, meanwhile the rest of it is girders to show you where things are. These uh, these two here are only for showing you where things are going to be. They're not going, well no, they are going to be there but the, the entire face is going to be filled in um, when we start putting in things. In fact, I should probably uh, fill this face in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the next step is the engine nacelles. Now, we need between two and four engine nacelles because that's a kind of good number. Um, that are going to hold the main engine bays. So they're going to hold the forwards and backwards uh, thrusters. Pretty simple. Um, what I'm not decided on yet is how I want them arranged and whereabouts I want them put and how many of them I need. Um, so if we look at the red ship right now, the red ship is a mass of something. If I go into the cockpit, I'll find out. Uh, it, it's going to be heavier than the ship I'm building because the ship I'm building is better. Um, so that's 1.3, uh, so it's kilo, mega, gigagrams. Okay, so that's 1.3 million kilograms. Okay. And then this one, I don't know because we don't have a cockpit on. Okay. Um, but basically this requires around three main ion engines, the main ones, the large ones, to uh, get it moving. Um, and it would usually have two to slow it down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have ion thrusters and hydrogen thrusters on both sides. So, um, basically, I can activate the hydrogen thrusters to give it uh, some emergency power. 
However, that's a limited amount of power available, so going to have to look out for that. Uh, we'll also have uh, hydrogen tanks either in the nacelles um, or in the uh, engine room. And in fact, we'll probably have an oxygen tank in the engine room as well, because, well, we need an oxygen tank, because otherwise all of the uh, ice that we're mining is going to go to um, hydrogen, and then we won't be able to breathe. And then back here, uh, we'll probably have some sort of resource collection system, probably just a just a conveyor thing that comes out and you can dock to it and then resources go into the system you know things like that uh, remember this is the only in uh, this is only the interior shape of the ship this is not what the exterior will look like well it is unlikely that this is what the exterior will look like okay so I've got to design some nacelles now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate entity uh, a, a separate ship uh, which is going to have the design for the engine cells. Um, or am I? No, right. So, if we have a look, uh, have a look at the sizes of the large ship, just waiting for the menu to load, you know, all these armored thrusters are taking up a lot of room. Uh, we might use the armored thrusters um, as to make it look pretty, but for now, we're just designing. Uh, so, we just want large thrusters. Okay, fine ion thrusters. Ah, right, yes. It's going to be small and large. Right, hydrogen. Okay, so these are the regular ones. Hydrogen ones are just like tiny. Uh, actually, hydrogen thrusters are smaller than ion thrusters. Interesting. Oh yeah, because the ion thruster would have its own um, ion generation thing or whatever. Uh, so this is the size of a large one, which is a 3 by 2 by 6 no, 3 by 2 by 4, which is the same as a... no, it's not the same. It's half of a refinery. Uh, no, two refineries makes sense. And this is a 3 by 3 by 3, which is just a cube. Um, so, the vertical footprint yeah, well, uh, the horizontal in this case would remain the same. However, the vertical one would increase one for the hydrogen thruster. Okay. Alternatively, what we can do is we can have four nacelles. Two of them have hydrogen, and two of them have ion. Uh, that may that that may that what the sorry, my uh, tongue went a bit chewy. Um, no, not chewy. Something else. Pick another word, uh, please be sensible. Um, but yeah, I if we have like the two hydrogen thrusters on the sides, and then um, and then we have the two ion thrusters on uh, the nacelles because they're not going to have just one, uh, and we have the two ion nacelles on the on the top and bottom, then that would work. Um, now I just need to think of a way to actually build. So this one's going to be an ion one, yeah. It doesn't. Uh, ion ones don't actually need to be connected to the conveyor network, which is why I'm doing on the top and bottom, and then the hydrogen can be on the side because I can have some conveyors from the engine room into the hydrogen areas. Okay. Um, so I'm going to quickly build a roof over here because that's going to help. There we go. Um, so. Uh, next thing, we prob uh, we need to find the center, which is this line, thankfully. Um, I'm just going to weld in a bit of this. Alright, I'm going to need more steel. Uh, as you can see over here, we've been destroying this uh, left in the cell uh, quite rapidly. Uh, basically because I can't be bothered to go... Well, no, it's not because I can't be bothered, because that would be, you know stupid uh, but it's going to be much easier if I start destroying this whilst I'm building the other one so then I don't have to construct resources and then do other things um, yes we've got enough head back over finish this now uh, this is seven long and therefore we know what the center is excellent I won't I won't weld all of it in because that's kind of silly uh, so this is going to be the center, the, th the top bit of the control room. And what I want is they're not going to be completely detached, so they're not going to have a thin arm and then the nacelle. They're going to be kind of inlaid a bit to the ship. 
or at least the ion the ion ones are. Um, so in actual fact, we're going to be using uh, we're going to be using sorry uh, right. Let's get rid of those uh, armored. We're going to be using the come on, find it, find it. I'm very bad at finding things. You you might have noticed uh, these ones. So we're going to place these, uh, which are going to be fun. Uh, so to begin with, one of them is going to uh, we'll have two, yeah, two. Remember that number. We'll have one here, and one here, yeah. So these will be the um, the forward-facing ones, which will slow us down. And then we'll have a bit of uh, room here, and then we'll have uh, it going like this, also like this. You know, for stylization, so it looks like uh, not a rhombus, a parallelogram. I can do words, people. Uh, yeah. And so therefore, uh, we're going to need... I think this is going to be right. If it's not, I can correct it later. Um, but we can do this kind of thing. And it should work. It should stay in line and then we'll do some fancy thing to the side. Yeah. Cool. Right, I'll, I'll weld that later because they require additional steel plates from just a single ion thruster. Uh, I'll weld that whilst off camera. During this episode though, there's a mining carriage. Do I want to attack? No, I'm building. Uh, right, so we just copy the top design onto the bottom. Uh, the next thing that we want, uh, and what might be a good idea, is some batteries. Uh, so the batteries will store power um, in case we need to use the engines quite a bit. Uh, they will, however, be kind of annoying um, in terms of uh, using up our large reactor, which we're placing in the engine room. Uh, I think this should be able to run on a single large reactor. Um, I might be wrong, though, because the large reactors, I do not know how much they can actually do. Right, let's check that because I, I need to see that, and then I will compare notes with how much uh, energy the thrusters use. Uh, so what do we want? Reactor, large reactor, maximum output 300 megawatts, so that's a total of 900 megawatts for this. Um, okay, and then we want large thruster. Uh, so these use 33. So we can have 10 of these uh, and be at max, and we're going to have uh, eight of them. Oh god. That is pretty close, but we're only going to be using one set, so that's four. Okay. So we only use four of those at a time, so that's about 120. So that's half of our, near half of our um, energy goes towards these um, thrusters, the forward and backward, which might be okay, but might not be if it turns out that we actually need more. Uh, we could fit in two reactors if we need to, because there is room. I made sure of it. We can have three react, uh, two reactors, one here, one here, and then we can have the um, the hydrogen tank and jump drive and all sorts of other things that we need. Yeah. So in in case we need another reactor, we can place another one. Okay. Uh, so don't worry about that. Uh, just place these because I am a bit OCD when it comes to this. And I've actually placed it wrong, but who cares? Me. Uh, right there. There. Good. Um, so now, uh, we kind of want to place the batteries Do we want them on the outside or the inside. Uh, inside would be a good idea. So if we continue like this. Uh, and then continue, 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 continue. And then, in here, we'll have batteries. Uh, we'll probably have six or maybe twelve batteries uh, depending on uh, the times so I'll just leave this open leave it open topped and then we will get our lovely friend the armoured hydrogen thing flip him around like this okay let's have a look does this look at all good 
move this along. Well, we don't know if it will look good because uh, we can't actually see it yet. No, I don't want that. Uh, so then what we do is we just add these and then this is going to need to be right one there and one there okay right so uh, if you want to correct me in the comments do so but I think that this might look good we'll do something fancy with the sides but that should be fine uh, yeah so I just need to put armor blocks in to make it not look phantomy uh, and onto the other side excellent right uh, that should be good we'll do something on the top to make it look a bit you know not flat um, Sadly, we don't have half blocks, which is kind of annoying. Uh, copy this, paste it down there, job done. Right, now we're going to work on the hydrogen area, which is going to be even more entertaining. So I'm going to flip over. Uh, I'm going to add a, f uh, add a wall in this section. There we go. Um, and now, since this is going to look kind of in line, we want to do something different for these hydrogen thrusters. Now, the reason why we need to do something different for the hydrogen thrusters is I don't have a mod that has armored hydrogen thrusters. Unless I'm wrong. No, I'm right. For once. Um, so we're going... What the hell just happened? Um, I accidentally hit the, F, uh, the F8 key. Uh, please disregard that. So we have hydrogen thrusters here. They need to be some sort of this way. Okay. So if we place one here, no, like this, yeah, and then we have the hydrogen, uh, we have the hydrogen tank here, yeah, uh, so if we get hydrogen tank, and then we have another hydrogen thruster, uh, no, not that one this one and then we have another hydrogen thruster here how is that going to look well it's going to look rudimentary um, which is completely fine hmm or do we want two of them and actually I've got an idea uh, we'll we'll bring it out one and push it back one. Okay. So, where was that? Uh, so the end bit of the hide. So one, two. Is that the size of this? Yes. Uh, so, this is where the end of the thrust of one, two, right here. Okay. So from here. Bear with me. Uh, we'll do some sort of magic trick here uh, we'll replace these with um, things that are necessary later okay and then what we need to do is get four place the hydrogen tank here that's right Ray yes uh, and then we just need to place hydrogen thruster here and hydrogen thruster here and that should have moved back one right yes so now that's a bit out uh, this can be shot easily but we'll do something about the armor later uh, but now that should look a bit better yeah because my main concern is we're going to have some armoring on the sides and we need to make sure that that doesn't get burnt off by the hydrogen because if it does then that's not really doing its job okay it looks like some kind of you know 40s sci-fi rocket or something well no I guess that's what it's supposed to look like right so all I need to do place uh, place this one onto here and that should be good and then uh, I need to duplicate this onto the other side I'll work more on this because it looks silly um, does not look 
uh, does not fit the theme of the ship. It just looks kind of stupid. Um, yeah, because there's no there's no sleeker version, which is the most annoying thing ever. Alternatively, we could have no. That's going to be a bad idea. I was suggesting having them on the back, but that's not going to help. Uh, well, I'll ponder around uh, for this hydrogen thruster malarkey, but this is how it should work. I'll make it look better, but that's how it works. Each of the two nacelles have hydrogen... What's that one? Military escort. Don't care. Um, so each of the nacelles have a hydrogen tank and forward-facing and rear-facing hydrogen thruster. Uh, those will then be connected via conveyor to the hydrogen uh, tank in the engine room, which will also be supplied by numerous ice processing, the oxygen generators. And then we have an oxygen tank in here as well. Uh, and then we have a jump drive and two reactors and whatever. This will be replicated onto the bottom. Uh, I just want to do something first. Right, so we're going to work on improving the look of this. So that means I'm going to need armor blocks. Where are you? this yes this is what I want move you over there because that's not helpful uh, you don't need ramps so to make it look sleek and uh, in fashion this evening um, I'm going to add these the sides will be done later I will keep reminding myself uh, what did I just do nothing apparently good by doing nothing it means I've done nothing wrong um, the building models for these are the same as the regular large iron thrusters, so that's fine. Uh, so these will be extended along here. And then we'll have a go like this. Okay. And then it will come across like this. Now the only problem is I'm probably going to uh, run out of things. And in fact what we can do is we can have um, small thrusters uh, on here so that we don't have to have as many on the ship itself. So because this is too thick we can have um, small ion thrusters. Right, so fill this in. Right, so that's the top thruster. It's got a kind of cur uh, curved section here, and then it kind of goes uh, instantly into a spike, which is kind of cool. So it curves up and then tails off. Nice. Except I've got a better idea. So instead of these, Uh, we instead have these. Uh, so that goes here. This will go here, here, and here. Like this. Uh, so it, it looks kind of cooler. Um, though my definition of cool is different from everyone else's definition of cool. Right. Just, yeah, I just need to replicate this, and then you'll kind of see what I'm talking about when this thing is welded together. Um, which I will do in just a second. Uh, oh yeah, I'll be back in a second once I weld this together so I can show you what the hell I'm talking about. And through the magic of editing, we are back. And this is the final product. Ignore these lines at the bottom, they will be fixed. Um, so yeah, kind of looks kind of cool. With a paint job, it will look even better. In fact, I want to see what happens if I, if I change the colour of this. So say so I want it grey. Good, it does the armouring as well. Uh, will that match this? Maybe. Possibly. Because these armor slopes, um, their connected textures is a bit weird. Uh, what if I change it to like the dark red I'm using? Excellent. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, I'll just change it back to grey so that everyone can enjoy the greyness of everything. Uh, yeah. So that that's how the, uh, the front ion engines will now work. I'll also work on the back ones so that they look a bit less, you know, boring. Um, 
I'll also work on the hydrogen nacelles so that I can get them not looking cartoonish. And then we'll be back next episode to, con uh, to continue construction of our uh, combat ship, which is actually looking kind of weird. Uh, possibly because I haven't actually, I, I didn't actually try to design it on paper first. Yeah. Uh, right, so until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission. <laughs>